Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I am one minute early. Oh my goodness. Um, welcome to my Wednesday Facebook Live. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and um, I want to thank you for joining me this evening. Hello Lynn. Um, generally my Facebook Lives on Wednesdays are at 1 p.m. But I thought I would try something new and, <clears throat> excuse me, move it to uh, 6.30 p.m. As my Monday Live is at 10 a.m., my Wednesday was at 1, and my Friday was at 1. So I thought, let's give it a try moving it to 6.30 in the evening on Wednesday. And maybe I might be able to reach more of my uh, crafty friends. Um, instead of all of my lives being in the uh, afternoon or daytime. So, uh, yeah, so I thought let's give this a try and see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below if you um, prefer for this to uh, be live at 6.30 in the evening. So that way maybe you got time to catch me live for a change instead of the replay. So please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're watching from. If you see that red live button up in the top corner, that means you are watching me live. Um, if the red button is not there, you are watching the recording. If you're watching on YouTube, you are definitely watching the recording, but please still um, say hello. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Um, YouTube um, really likes that and the more thumbs up and um, interaction I get the more they will share my content um, same with Facebook if you give me hearts and comment they are going to share my videos um, my business page to more people and that is how I reach more crafty friends okay let's flip you around um, to get crafting it is dark out. You're going to have to give me a moment here. I forgot to change my setup from when I did a live with my team yesterday morning. So, um, hopefully we can get this done fairly quickly. Um, and hopefully my lighting, because it is very dark outside... Um, as you probably saw, so hopefully I've got enough lights going on in here in my craft room. So let's just um, adjust a few things here. Bring this down this way just a bit. All right. Bring you up on my iPad here so that I can... Um, share it to my uh, stampers group okay and post and let's see here bring you up all right hello Marina hello Mary here hello Mary Ann and Ann thank you for joining me Okay, so how are my lights here? Does it look bright enough, you guys? Um, I hope so. Okay, so few announcements as always. First up, I want to remind you that the um, our Over the Border with Di and Marcy, our next virtual class is um, Saturday, February 27th. And we are going to be doing the Hey Birthday Chick. Um, it is $74 for porch pickup here in Canada. Or if you need it mailed out to you anywhere in Canada, it would be $89. That includes um, Canada Post uh, Priority Shipping and Tracking. Hello, Kay. Hello, Debbie. Um, yeah, so um, if you are in Canada, you sign up with me. If you are in the United States, you sign up with Diana. We both did blog posts yesterday talking about um, this class. So check out our blogs to um, 
find out all of the details. It is a Zoom class that is streamed to our private Facebook um, class page. So if you're not comfortable on Zoom, you can join the class on Facebook and nobody is going to see you and it will be recorded on Facebook and you can watch it at your leisure. Okay, we've got Paper Pumpkin, the um, Bouquet of Hope, the sign-up deadline for this fabulous um, kit that gets delivered right to your door is February 10th. So that is coming around very, very quickly. Um, I'm just looking at comments. Hello, Debbie from North Carolina. Hello, Brenda. Um, so this comes directly to your door. We are very quickly coming to the end of January as it is January 27th. We are also halfway through celebration. Um, so that means that you've only got just the one more month to get in on that fabulous joining special where you get five extra packages of six by six designer series paper that will be um, in the new annual catalog when it comes out. So that is a value of um, $78 before tax and shipping and you get that for free people. It is amazing. It's a great, great deal. And I would love to have a little conversation with you about joining my stamping family. All right, that is it for my spiel. Um, let's get to crafting. We are using the sweet strawberry. I know I said that I was gonna use other um, stamp sets that I own, but oh, I just love this set. And um, I had some cards to make today. So I uh, pulled it out and this is, hello Damien, um, thanks for joining. This is the card that I came up with. Um, and the way I came up with this, actually, I pulled out my stamp set and I thought, hmm, am I going to do something with the strawberries? Uh, so I went through my drawer and I always have extra die cuts. I really suggest that this is uh, something that you guys do at home is when you're die cutting out shapes and stuff like that, die cut out a few extra so that when you are going to uh, sit down to create, you've got a variety of shapes and different sizes um, to uh, play with. So I already had um, some of the thick um, basic white uh, stitched. This is the largest of the stitched circles from the stitched shape dies. That's an awful lot of S's, isn't it? <laughs> um, so I already had that and I thought, hmm, you know what? The beautiful strawberry blossom image would be just perfect. And I also had, this is the um, Painted Texture 3D embossing folder. I already had some Blushing Bride uh, cardstock that was uh, already embossed with it. So I thought, hey, let's pair these together. So uh, that is what I have done. And you'll notice the back here, I have taken my blending brush and I have added some ink with that. And I'm gonna show you a little trick to not get ink on those flowers. So let's get stamping. Thank you, Brenda. Yes, it really does help if you've got um, a bin or a drawer or something that you can like, die cut a bunch of shapes out with a variety, whatever whatever dies you're using or punches you're using, always cut out a few more because that way you are going to have um, quite the variety. And when you go to create, if it's already there waiting for you, it is so much easier to get those creative juices flowing when you've already got those pieces. Now this piece here, of a designer's of a um, blushing bride cardstock. This was already um, a five and a quarter by four inches. So I just cut this down. 
Um, this is one and three quarter inches by five and a quarter. Um, all of the measurements will be on my blog. Uh, I'll be about 40-ish eh, minutes, 45 minutes at the very most with my blog post. Afterwards, I always like to add the video to the blog post before I hit publish. Um, so I download it from Facebook and then I upload it into YouTube and then I get it um, onto my blog. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to center this. Beautiful image. We have snow, it's been snowing basically on and off for two days here in southwestern Ontario. So um, I really, I'm gravitating towards the um, summer fruits and um, actually summer treats. Friday's card has summer treats in it. So, all right, so we're gonna set this aside for a moment. Now this is my uh, basic white and it is four inches by five and a quarter. And we are going to take um, and ink up our thank you. It's a beautiful, beautiful font this thank you so is everybody done their dinner that was the big discussion with my sisters um today when this morning i um was sitting in the parking lot of the vets because miss buffy uh, my daughter danny was with me miss buffy had her check up to get her shots and all that kind of stuff so i was sitting on my phone at 8 30 this morning in the parking lot um, and i asked my sisters uh, what do you think what do you think of this time what's your opinion um would people still be eating supper hello susan your first time catching me live well that is awesome oh jeepers i've got black somewhere because I've got all my cardstock. All right. I don't see black on my hands. And this is getting covered anyway. So that's all right. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? Let's, um, let's give this time a try. And um, if it goes over well, if you guys like this time, then I will continue to bring my... Wednesday lives to you at uh, 6 30 p.m. instead I just had to be extra organized for my dinner um, to get that we generally eat an earlier dinner but uh, and in our house the uh, person that cooks the dinner doesn't have to clean up the dinner and the only time I don't cook is when we have takeout <laughs> so most of the time, I don't have to clean up um, unless I'm baking. Then, you know, um, I'm going to clean that mess up. But uh, I love to cook, but I really dislike cleaning up the mess that I make. <laughs> so, yes. Um, so, anyhow, we are just layering this up. See, we didn't see any of that black smudge. It is nowhere to be seen, so that is perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take our liquid glue again, and we are going to adhere this right to the center of the card front, or as close to it as possible. Let me smooch that down just a bit. And the reason I love my liquid glue is so that I've got a moment or two to kind of scooch it over if I've not stuck it down straight. Okay, so this is um, ready. So let's come in and I didn't tell you the um, Stampin' Blends we're using are the light and dark Granny Apple Green, and the Light So Saffron. And I'll show you afterwards um, why I have this light pool party out. 
So the So Saffron is just for the centers of my flowers. Um, and then put the lid on that so that my glue doesn't get all gummy. We are going to take the dark granny apple green and I'm just going to come in where the um, center vein of that leaf is and I'm just going to add some of the dark because leaves are generally speaking a little darker at the center. So did you notice my photo that I had created to um, let you know that I was trying a new time? The um, salvia. That um, was in my photo stream. That was my garden this summer. And I am so missing my flowers. Come this time, I am very, very anxious for winter to be done and um, spring to get here so that I can get my flower beds going and watching the butterflies and hummingbirds and all that kind of stuff. So, yes. And I will look up for comments in just a minute. I am just going over with my light granny apple green. And I'm going over the edges just a smidge more to help soften that line. Nothing really fancy at all. So how many of you have this um, bundle? This is actually a bundle, comes with the strawberry builder punch, although we're not using that tonight. So there, our coloring is done. And just like that, now um, I am going to take my, it's looking pretty rough after doing a few cards, but yes, I masked. Uh, Brenda says, it's just a bit before your supper in Saskatchewan. Hello, Debbie. Debbie is in Arizona along with Diana. Hello, Diana. All right, so... Um, this is just a post-it, um, one of the longer ones, and I can't seem to find the post-its with the full sticky tacky back. So what I did is I took a little bit, just a drop of liquid glue on the three blooms that didn't have the tack on them. Um, I added a little bit of glue, moved it around, and oh, there's a Marshall hair stuck to that. Um, I let it dry for the most part, so it's got a, that little bit of tack to help hold it um, there. And I am going to take and cover my images. Now, when you are stamping onto something else to, to create a mask, you do have to wait a few more moments um, than normal because the uh, paper it's kind of um, it's kind of got a bit of a, sh a sheen or something it's different a different texture it's a different weight so your um, ink kind of sits on the top a little longer um, so you want to make sure it is good and dry and because I went so skinny for these little um, branches there the stems um, it's a little tricky to get it stuck down all right I think we're good and the trick is to cut your mask slightly smaller you can see that my stamped image 
is um, out a little further than my um, paper mask here. And the reason for that is because otherwise you're gonna get a halo um, around it, a white halo. Hello, Diane from Saskatchewan. Thanks for joining. Diana did chicken fried rice. We watched, we did a uh, um, Facebook Live uh, Blue Jean Chef. She was on, I, was that last week? I don't remember uh, what night, but um, I haven't uh, made it yet because I need to do some grocery shopping. So, all right, so bring my lights down just a bit more here. See if that's going to help. Or is it making it too shadowy? When you're picking up your ink, this is how I do it. Um, I'm going to take an, a nice light circular motion, um, daub it off a little bit on a piece of scrap paper, and then come in. And I want, I'm very, very light handed, and I want the um, most of the uh, ink color to be concentrated in the center um, of the image. And you can see because I've been doing it so much today, I was having a lot of fun with this. Um, that leaf is really taking a beating. So you build this color up as much or as little as you want. And it doesn't look like I'm doing too awful much, but when I peel that mask off, you're going to see what um, what it looks like and it's it really makes the flowers in that pop and you could come all the way out if you wanted and I'm not going to worry too awful much about that leaf moving because it's green underneath the green um, Stampin' Blends so the granny apple green so it's not like it's a white area it's a colored area and like I said I have done a few of these today so that leaf is saying come on Marcy give me a break I'm tired of you pushing and pulling on me <laughs> all right I just want a little bit more in this area here and now with the mask, you can come take it off and then come at it again if you um, are finding that you want maybe a smidge more of that ink on there. Okay, just, just a titch more. All right. I'm going to say that is done. So there we have that. Now carefully, I want to be careful when I'm peeling this off as I don't want to rip it because I want to keep it in my um, case. I always keep my masks. If you've gone through the trouble of creating a mask, um, for goodness sake, don't throw it away. Keep it. Pop it in your... Um, stamp set container and uh, that way you've got it for next time and I'll probably go and add a bit of um, glue to that one leaf so that it um, gets tacky again all right so there we have my image now you can see where the areas where the mask was not cut as thin as it could be, but because it was so skinny, I didn't um, want to cut it any thinner or I would end up um, ripping it um, and not staying together. So that is where my light pool party 
um, stamp and blend comes in so whatever color you are um, using whatever color you're using with your blending brush or even sponges um, you can then come in and take the same shade of your stampin blends and go over those white areas now it's not perfect by any means because this is alcohol based ink and the um, ink pad is water based but look at this guys my white lines are disappearing and then once that's completely dry, that will blend in even more. But there you see that there's no more stark. Oh, I forgot to do right in between here because I definitely didn't cut that out. But that blends that out beautifully. Then you've got um, just a tiny little hint where you can see, but like I said, I'm okay with that. And this area up here, you could come in like this once you've taken your mask off and blend it in but it's not going to be quite the same because you've already built up so much um, ink with your uh, layers of blending so then I'm gonna take that and I am just going to pop that right in here I'm gonna stick it on the lid and then close that up and then that way I know exactly where my mask is the next time I want to create with this but then, like I said, it really makes the uh, white flowers pop. Now this I did a little heavier than this one, but it's still, I think, just beautiful. Okay, so now we are gonna take our dimensionals. And I'm gonna use five, I'm very generous with my Stampin' Dimensionals because I've taken all that time and effort to create my card. I don't want it sagging. So, hello, Carol, thanks for joining. It's okay. Um, I'm glad you're here. All right, so, and I want this so that it's kind of coming sideways and off to the side just like that next i am going to take a glue dot and because my glue dots my mini glue dots are a little bigger i'm going to take it and i'm going to fold it in half and i'm going to put it right here i want it just coming down a little bit off of that uh, end of the stem and I am using the um, Snail Mail uh, Twine Combo. I'm using the Blushing Bride, and I'm just gonna create a little bow to um, put on that. You always hold your centers when you're going to give it a tug so that you don't get um, your loops going all wonky on you. They can get pretty crazy and spin around and get all twisted and you don't want that. All right, and then I'm gonna take my scissors and I always pull my tails together so that way they're pretty close to the same um, length. And then I'm going to Stick that pretty little bow. Now, I think this one is a smidge too long, so let's just snip this. I wish Stampin' Up! would bring these back. See, they say Stampin' Up! on them. I have two pairs of them. They retired years ago, but they are beautiful ribbon scissors. I love them. Okay, next we are going to take our opal rounds. These are so pretty and so much fun to add to a project with that little bit of sparkle in there. So even though they are adhesive backed, if you have been watching me, you know that I always like to add 
a little bit of glue um, for it to be extra secure. So I'm doing three dots. I don't want it to um, arrive at the recipient's door and it my embellishments be in the bottom of the envelope or stuck where they're not supposed to. So I always like to add a um, little bit of liquid glue. Come on, it's stuck to my hand instead. All right. It just ensures that there, the embellishment is not going anywhere. So there we have my pretty thank you card using the uh, sweet strawberry. Hello, Lynn. Thanks for joining tonight. I have a whole lot more people that are watching. I think that that tells me that um, 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday night is the time to go live. All right, so I am going to now um, swing you back up and around so I can say goodbye properly. All right. Ooh, look at my messy desk. I've been working away, so it's not totally 100% cleaned. So, and there we go. All right. So that wasn't too awful long, just over 30 minutes. So let me just pull some of these lights back up. I have to bring all my lights down over my desk so uh, <laughs> that you guys have enough light to really see my project. So thank you so much everybody for joining me this evening. I hope you um, enjoyed tonight's card. Um, please share my video, Sharing is Caring. It's how I reach more crafty friends. And uh, remember um, to check um, my uh, uh, blog for the information for the uh, Stampin' uh, Over the Border with Di and Marcy, our um, Hey Birthday Chick class that's coming up. I have my own class in the mail that'll be coming up um, in February as well. I'm just working on it. So, good evening, Chris. Thanks for joining. Um, Thank you so much for uh, taking a few moments out of your day. I truly do appreciate it. And I will see you on uh, Friday at 1 p.m. with um, another live crafty video. All right, have a great rest of your week. Bye for now.